Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Marketing. This is SEO Autopilot Part 2. And in this episode, we're going to cover using the wizard. Again, this is Dark Marketing. I'm your host, Big Dom. Let's get started. Okay, let's just go right up here and click on our campaign wizard. And we're going to put this in our test project. And this is going to be our wizard test okay and let's click okay and now we are starting with this dialogue and what this is attempting to do is to give us direction because remember we're using the wizard and this wizard is very easy to employ and it reminds me in many ways of money robot the similarity of a fast track to a setup but one thing I want you to understand is that with all of these softwares, whether they have a, a sort of wizard feature or presets that sort of try to help guide you to the goal of completion, because no one gets into these softwares and understands all of the intricacies. It takes time for your mind to get your head wrapped around all the pieces and the output of those pieces, because you want to improve your setups over time. And if you like, for example, if you go on the website, I mean the YouTube channel for SEO Autopilot, you, they have a lot of tutorials. And their wizard tutorial, he'll say he could set it up in three minutes. Yes, if you have your stuff pre-created and ready to go, you can do a setup in three minutes. But I'm telling you that the stuff that you generate in three minutes isn't necessarily going to be the things that are going to have the kind of impact that are required for you to be successful at this. You know, a few years back when these products were emerging, you know, the internet was a much more liberal place and you could get away with a lot more crap on the internet. And, you know, there's been a lot of case studies with SEO, guys like Kyle Roof who demonstrated that you don't need uh, quality content to rank because he ranked for number one using Lipsum Orum text in some competition. And, you know, that's true to an extent. But when you're really trying to, look, yeah, you know, the stuff that ultimately is going to rank on a scaled level where you're trying to make high quantities of posts that are going to drive traffic or, or keyword ranking to your properties or affiliate marketing or whatever your ultimate purpose is, you need quality content. And you... And what you feed into these systems is as equally as important as the actual setups. So when we see this new website, 0 to 12 months, well, they changed that. I think they used to say, you know, 0 to 3 months. And that's because, you know, it's not a good idea to think about using this software if you've only been around a couple of months. At the earliest for backlinking, generally as a rule, should be like six months. If you're starting some soft backlinking at three months, you better have a lot of content, blogs, some YouTube videos, and some social media bases started. So you have all the elements that are going to help you, you know, fill your ecosystem naturally so that things don't look out of place. Because nobody just has a brand new website, property, and all of a sudden, boom, you've got 20,000 backlinks, 50,000 backlinks. You have to sort of ease into these things. That being said, let's get into the wizard here. So let's just assume we've got a new website. This is going to govern the range of diagrams available to you. So like the bigger, if you're more established, you're going to get much larger diagrams being made available to you. And so this is designed to sort of help you reason your way through the process if you're new. Once we get in here, we can select a diagram. And we could think about, hey, you know, what, do, what do we, or this is one I like. And we don't necessarily need to put a description here. That's just for our purposes. We're going to click next. And now we're in a very similar thing that we see in a money robot scenario where we can put our URL links and you know what let me just pause for one second and let's start up money robot and this way we can kind of take a little side by side for those that are the first time watching these video okay so I've started money robot on 
on the system that I'm actually doing this recording. So let's go here to new campaign. And you see, we've got our money site URL, our keywords, title, article body. So now let's go to our remote system. And same same principle. We got our money URLs, our our keywords, our generic keywords, and you know, and that really is the same because if we go to our advanced uh, right click on here we trigger advanced options this is where we're gonna put our generic keywords right so very similar the wizard in my thinking as to how you're going to actually do this so let, let's take a look at a scenario you've got a blog site you've got some content videos etc whatever I'm gonna I'm gonna use mine now, I've got a blog site here. I've got a category on automotive. Right? And we can see I've got all these like blog articles on some on DIY, some do it yourself stuff. So I want to what? I want to I want to backlink to these articles. So I'm going to copy my link address here from one this way I kind of I take you through sort of a, a you know this is just a, this is a one type of approach because every approach is going to be a little different a lot of oh, a lot of ones I do I like to do lately a lot of one-on-ones where I'm just linking to a single URL and I'm going to talk about that in my next video which is going to be another money robot video where I'm going to go through a few actual setup scenarios that will give you a much more realistic uh, sense of how to do different types of backlinking campaigns and another thing I want you to think about in terms of like tiering you know you hear that you know and I get a lot of questions about tier one links and tier two look try to get that paradigm out of your head and think of it like this I think of the software as a sort of more like tiering platforms and like a money robot you're going to start at the bottom tiers of, of of things that are down low and rather than thinking about things being linked in an upward direction because they're more relevant in their ranking tier than they are in any linking you know self-conceived linking tiers so that being said let's just get a couple more in here and sometimes you know like with this here's a good approach with something like this because these are all in the same type of of category see that DIY which is DIY do it yourself you know uh, and that's kind of like you know that a, a known term and so now I got a bunch of articles I want to backlink to and I want to maybe put two links per article and I need my my keywords okay now generally what I might want to do here is let's see troubleshooting and fixing okay let's just take this DIY troubleshooting and fixing let's go to chat GPT let me just refresh this it's been open for a while make sure we're logged in and we need something for a blog and I'm using the AI PRM uh, extension for Chrome which gives us all these nice prompts and I'll just filter it by searching blog and what we want is like a nice one-liner here write a detail use however by just putting blog title okay and troubleshooting and fixing automotive issues at home okay let's see let's see what it gives us because that's what more my articles about right they're all about troubleshooting automotive issues at home and so I'm gonna need content for this for my posting and to simulate an environment that other companies have like or other websites when there's backlinking I wanna link have an article that's not necessarily specific 
about the articles I'm posting, but rather in a general sense it's related and it has some various things that can be identified as DYI automotive things. And then I'm going to link, put these variations of this article are going to backlink to these articles. So let's just kind of give this a chance to create us some nice little content here. And this is a solid approach that I use all the time because you want quality content. And it seems to be done. It doesn't have to be enormous. And, you know, now, again, I'm just doing a video here, so we're going to cut a few corners. But generally, I would really want a little more than this. I would beef this up. I'd go back and say I want to add on some more information, put some, put some things about car buying mistakes and engines misfiring and maybe just you know add a few issues about these topics and get the final content a little more perfected because once I've got that the other tool I'm going to be using throughout this process is notepad plus 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 and I really like this because you don't have to always be bothered with saving things you know you're working I paste this in here if I close this up, next time I start the program, it, it keeps it saved in here. You can pick up where you are. You don't have to save the file to a location. Very useful in that regard. So now I've got this. I like to save each stage in case I have any issues. And let's go up here and let's make our own spin tax. Convert article to spin tax. Now one thing you want to do is make sure you get good spin tax. Sometimes this thing brain farts and it just starts putting out the output. It's doing spin tax really good and then it just stops at some point. So just, you know, stay conscious to look for the things that go wrong. And because they will on occasion with this. This is not a long article, so we should be able to get through it, but it didn't complete. You can see I got the continue generating button came up. Now at least it's not breaking the, when you have to continue, it's not breaking up the, the output so that you have to paste it and then remove where you, you know, did some different things. Okay, so that looks like we got the whole thing here. So now this, I've got all my nice spin tags, which holds the context of what the article is about. And that's what's good about generating your spin tags with this. It's not going to take... You know, like for example, if you're doing an article about money robot, you don't want the word money being replaced with the word cash because then it's going to lose its value of what it's about. It's not cash robot. The software is called money robot. So when you use this smart technology for your spin tax, you're not going to lose the meaning of the article. So that's, that's kind of important, all right, on the path to creating quality content. So now we've got our spin tax. And I, I'm ready to go. But one more thing. I need a I need a list of SEO keywords related to this article. So I'm just gonna tell it. I'm gonna just tell it. Oh, and this is pretty good. Now, generally, I'll already have a list of some specific keywords that I'm targeting. And it might be as long as this. And what I'll do is I'll combine it. So this way, I'll come over here, and I'll make that my primary keywords. Oh, something didn't go right there. But let's get the... Get the right keyword output. And another good thing, when you get it into notepad it, it clears the formatting another thing is I also like to capitalize the first letter on everything as a matter of habit and you with notepad plus 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 you hit alt and the U button and you you'll get that effect so let's get back into our software paste our keywords here and same thing I'm not using these generic keywords. This is not helping me at all. So, so don't. because we're about anchor text. So better to, to, to get a group of two things. And I might have some like really nice core words here. And I might have 
a lot of generic anchor text and so you know I might want to put like hey 25% in this case so and now we're gonna hit next oh Okay, I got that sorted out. So, again, we got our primary keywords, generic keywords. We want our keywords in here. So, and you don't necessarily need to have these lists identical. And in your generic keywords, you might want to throw a little bit of, you can put your brand in there once or twice, depending on how many you got. No plain text, no plain URL. We want anchor text with keywords. That's ultimately the real objective here. Value of keywords, primary, etc. total is not 100%. Okay, hang on. Again. Now, accounts are the actual user accounts that are created to log in and make the post. And profiles are the actual email accounts of the free email accounts that it will create to actually use these two in unison to make your new uh, post. However, in the, in, as you get more progressive, you may want to reuse the same accounts to speed the process along for posting in similar genres. Like, you know, generally you want to group your things together. You're going to create categories for certain types of things that you do, and you want to segregate them, and you can use the same accounts. And what this will do, it will use as many accounts as are available up for that project. So in this case, we'll want to create new ones and we could, you know, create a new account folder. These are for our, our test accounts. I'm going to say OK. Choose default. That's good for now. We just want to get through this, you know. You you can't really manage and look at your profiles till you've actually got some created. Now, we got some default things here. This is where we're going to get the meat and potatoes in. Now, as opposed to our previous video, where you actually saw all the vari you know, variations of posts that you can put in based on the diagram that you select, in the wizard, we're not getting that option. We've just got a single article field. And so ultimately, in our case, that's where our spin tax is going. So now we got this. Here's my article. And boom, this is where we're going to put it in. Now, a lot of times, look, as I said, there are things that you can do that you're going to learn that, okay, you know, you can sort of fast track through the process. But generating title is one of the ones that is one of the safer things that you're going to do when you generate, you know, uh, when you want to generate titles because it's going to draw upon your keywords and content okay and before we get before we go to that but like in here we're only getting one article okay but we actually can get more than one article if we just expand our spin tax and so that would mean encapsulating this it three times so in other words if I were to go here and then say hey now I've got a now I've got article one separated by a bracket. Actually, these would have to be bracketed in here like so. Okay, and I would paste my, my article in here, the second article. And likewise, do that again. Uh, sorry you know let me really exemplify this so you don't get confused but if I were to go like this now this would be article 2 and then my breaker bar and now I put another bracket right here that's for this and then an additional closing one at the end Okay, and now I'm spinning three articles. One will just show 
this text article one, one will show, show this text article two, and one will be the full article. But I could paste three different articles in here and uh, rotate between that. And you know, likewise, you can do the same thing in Money Robot, okay? But I just wanted to show you that you can always go a little bit beyond what the capability is. And if you are going to use the wizard and you've got your stuff pre-created and well thought out, you know, you can expand on it a bit even using the wizard because you can do setups quite quickly with this. So let's just generate our title and say, where will my DY car maintenance be? You know, we got a lot of stuff in here and so seem to got some pretty good titles. Now, short text, social bookmarking, PDF, text description. Look, you don't, these are, you're, you're doing the wizard approach. A lot of this, this is a short article to begin with. It's not going to post a lot. We'll take some, let it go for this example out of here. But of course, once you analyze your output for these things and you realize, yes, I know how to, to take advantage of this feature a little bit more broadly you're going to want to edit what you want to do is look at the end of the day is analyze your output and realize the mechanic between what you're setting up and the finished product and how you can steer those variations because remember we're not making a single post we're attempting to make a lot of posts out of lesser quantity of content so as opposed to like the first video where we go through the full setup, <coughs> you see <clears throat> you can do a much more powerful campaign when you're configuring multiple web 2.0 blog posts. And that, that's really the primary thing as it relates to all of those uh, profiles and emails. Okay, so now we've got our content. We're not using the spinner or any of that because we're spinning it ourselves. We've basically outlined how to like article body is not valid check your format article body probably because I messed something up ah I left that bracket and probably I copied that mistake over here short text must be more than three characters okay Let's try it again now that we fixed it put everything in and it lets us go on now again much like money robot right we can insert images here before and after okay that's this process right here where we can insert our images our YouTube videos I don't mess with the Google embed source URL but let's take a look because this is how I would set up literally a live project for a blog. So now I go back here and you know what? Go into that. Look at all these nice images. So now I can go copy, copy image address. And I can put lots of images in here. Go back to my. The image address see that and I can add some nice images now there's something I want you to keep in mind okay even when this I'm showing you a blog example here but in many cases I have client websites with content rich pages that I want to backlink to And so I will take the images that are from their website and put them in here. And those images have a lot of information contained in the WordPress. It has the alternative text and the title text and the caption and the description, which you set in the media of the back end of WordPress. And of course, that's kind of critical stuff for searching because Google has its image search and that image search also relates to its textual search so you at the same time when you're adding images from your website if they're well marked up you're giving them a boost in this process for your search engine ranking okay by if, by having some really good stuff in here now in this case 
these these images don't really have that but we want our blog articles our posts to look good and so once we got a lot of good things and if I had YouTube videos I could put them in here but I can put hey I might want to have the two images and you know just just do them random and now this is a feature that lets you scrape and you can go and scrape images but you know you're really you know potentially getting somebody else's content it's best to use your own stuff I I don't I don't scrape images I, I just don't do it I just don't think it's a solid practice you're using someone else's stuff you don't know if it's copyright free and it, it's a lot of you know it doesn't always do a good job the best thing is the more control you have over it the better you could do if I if I had videos associated to that I would add them in and make sure I get at least one video and either at I want it at the top or the end so and that's how I go but let's see how our preview triggers and we can see hey not bad not fantastic but not bad but of course this is raw Okay, a lot of these sites, it's gonna, it's actually gonna uh, add a banner for the title at the top, and we don't really have control over that. But we can spin it and see different variations. And like a lot of times, as I demonstrate in other videos, I like to put my YouTube video embedded right into the, my spin tax. So let's just move past it. You've selected to include videos. You, okay, no, we we're not including okay and now our capture services okay so now over here we're only going to be picking it seems one i you know i don't understand oh no i'm sorry my bad it does have two and generally what i would be doing is i'm using x evil as my primary and two capture paid api very inexpensive throw 25 bucks in there it'll last you a very long time use that as your secondary now if you don't have x evil two capture will do the job for you affordably without any other thing you'll be fine with that okay uh you can control the rate of posting here but look in the, our particular case we're not going to be doing any indexing so we can do instant post we want to get our post up we're not indexing we're going to let nature take its course and we're going to do some external indexing on our own with the final urls using gsa search engine indexer okay so we're going to go finish we keep our you know our threads this is how many browser threads it's going to trigger when it's doing it and i like to keep these low Oh, campaign saved. Okay. And now, there it is. This is our wizard test. And I can click start. And Shazam, we are ready to go. Okay. Let's pause the video so I can give you my final thoughts about this. Now, like I said, I really liken this wizard setup to the same kind of scenario as a money robot. Uh, so, same, very quick, short amount of time to basically assemble your campaign. The real thing should be the effort in the content that you're putting into to it. I can't stress that enough. When you're first starting out, you know, start with the small campaign, look at your output, and say to yourself, how can I improve this? And you're going to realize that when you analyze your spin tax and the things that you're doing. Now, I took you through a solid scenario here with the, with the blog example, and I'm using multiple URLs. But many times what I've been doing lately is single URL. My next video, I'm going to do a money robot. I'm going to go through a few different scenarios, I think, because you start to get that there's different approaches, different metrics. You know, you can be doing these simpler setups with one article and more links or one link, or you're going to do more complex backlinking with a lot more articles. And again, you could have more or less backlinks and you want to control that process, you know, with those backlinks. 
Because you want to simulate what's going on in the environment. And with a lot of clients right now, I'm finding that I'm doing some very effective things by just backlinking, creating a campaign that's small to a single article. And making sure that your content quality, that you know, you really want that readable output to be when you see the finished product, you go, hey, this is this is real, this is usable. Somebody could actually read this and it has value. And that, when you reach that, and you'll start to see how things become much more effective in your campaigns and approaches. But, you know, this is the wizard. I don't use the wizard because I put a lot of work into my campaigns and that the output and the, the quality of what I create, I can use again or transplant into other campaigns and make a few modifications and make it last and go much longer. Things you want to learn to do is save your keyword lists. Keep files. You know, it's all just text files. Save your keyword lists so you can go back when you're working similar content. You say, hey, I got some keywords. Grab those phrases. Throw them in. Ask ChatGPT. Give me some keywords related to my you know, related to my content. And, you know, everything is a little different. I showed you a blog example, okay, uh, on how to do, like, this is a good approach, one for doing, just getting blogs backlinked. And uh, I really think that's going to cover it for this video because not a lot to the wizard. And so this, this product, now, here's the difference. That's what I wanted to say. As opposed to Money Robot, using the wizard on that program is pretty much like what you're going to do here. There's nothing, there's nothing better in the SEO Autopilot wizard setup that's better here. In fact, the advantage to this is you have even less things to be concerned about, like in terms of you don't have to, you can just let it create new profiles or you could be running from existing ones that but with Money Robot, you don't have that problem because this is going to run fast no matter what. And so Money Robot campaigns aren't going to just be quick to set up. They're going to run much faster and you can get your, you know, keep that software in a, in a better flow overall. And that's why, you know, if you're really going to use this, the best use is not the wizard because the time that it's going to take to run campaigns, you want to be doing the, you know, more advanced campaigns that you put the setup into that I cover in part one. And I think that that's really it. And as always, guys, remember to give us a like and follow us if you like more videos like this. I've got a Money Robot video coming up behind this, SEO, and then we'll be doing the follow-up on the X Rumor video. Guys, learning how to do campaigns and manage these softwares, it's a commitment time, resources, things you got to put into it. But when you really accomplish a good result and you see those results impacting your site, helping you weather the storms of Google's algorithm changes, it's all worthwhile, okay? Now, that being said, you know, if you've got a website, website properties that are doing well, you do your own SEO, maybe you're an SEO agency and you realize your clients need professional backlinking, but this isn't for you. The commitment involved for your needs and demands, its this is not the path of resources and time you want to go down. Then come over to seo-depot.com where we sell competitive packages for recurring backlinks on a monthly basis. And in addition, we give you some really solid guidance in your genre or niche to help maximize the results for our backlinking campaigns. You won't get a more high quality package uh, or approach anywhere, okay? Fiverr, those guys, they'll burn you to the ground. Here, we analyze your content, we build it out of your content and around, and we'll help advise you to get you on the right path. Gentlemen, again, hope you liked the video. Give us a like, remember to follow us. Another video coming soon. Thanks again for watching.